How you doing? We are in Luke chapter 10 today, verse 17 through 24. This is kind of the, uh, the rest of the story from last time. Last time Jesus sent out the 72, and this time they come back and tell them how it went. So uh, Luke 10, 17 through 24. The 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. He replied, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. However, do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. At that time, Jesus, full of joy through the Holy Spirit, said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this was your good pleasure. All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and no one knows who the Father is except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. Then He turned to His disciples and said privately, Blessed are your eyes that see what you see. Uh, for I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. So the 72 come back, and they are stoked. They returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. And they're very excited. Jesus was also stoked. Verse 21, at that time, Jesus, full of joy through the Holy Spirit, said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. I don't know if that's a little jab at his followers, you know, like, hey, all the smart people, all the quality people, you know, they're not exactly getting the message, but these, <laughs> these little children, they're getting it. You know, that's kind of funny. Um, but he's just full of joy that it went well for the, the 72 that went out. You know, they're coming back with a good report. Jesus is excited about that. And we see in verses 18 through 20 kind of a, uh, an explanation of that and some things that we can look into. And I, I see three important principles there. So verse 18, after they came back and said, Hey, it went good. Uh, even the demons submit to us in your name. He replied, verse 18, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. So the point of that verse is that, you know, Satan is a defeated foe. We fight against a defeated enemy. We are still on the clock. You know, there's a time when the game time the game clock hasn't expired, but the game is over. You know what I mean? Like we're in that phase now. God will win. Uh, the devil is not going to win. He's a defeated foe. There is still some time on the clock. So don't let him trick you into thinking he's going to win or switch teams or whatever, any of that stuff. Instead, uh, realize Satan is a defeated foe. Uh, the days are numbered. The second point, verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. So there is authority given from Jesus to his followers. There is the authority of the believer that's important for us to grab hold of. Jesus wasn't there, but in his name, the demons fled. So I've given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. So uh, nothing will harm you. So all the rest of the disciples for the rest of the thing, everything went great. Nobody had any harm come to them. I think they did. So what is Jesus talking about here? You know, uh, we're all going to die. There were plenty of martyrs back then of these people that he was talking to. Um, things did harm them in that respect, but none of those things have the power to separate us from the love of God. So the essence of who we are, you know, is not able to be harmed by the darkness of this world. And so we walk in God's authority and in faith in Him, and these things don't hurt us. Now, I'm not saying go walk on snakes and scorpions in your bare feet and be like, woo, like, that's not a good idea. Uh, we can trust in the protection of God, but the ultimate protection of God is everlasting life. So, the believer has authority. That's an important point on that one. And then point number three, he says, However, do not rejoice that 
that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. So we want to make sure that we have our thankfulness based not on spiritual authority given to us, not on things we can do in the power of God, but just in knowing that we have a a Lord in heaven that has made a way for us to have everlasting life, that our names are written in the Lamb's book of life. So we want to rejoice in that, thankful of our salvation. I don't ever want to get to the place where I take uh, everlasting life and the price Jesus paid for me to receive that for granted. I want to stay thankful and trusting in Him. So let's pray to, uh, you know, at the end here, Jesus says, Blessed are your eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings wanted to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. When it comes to uh, the power of God, the authority of the believer, Satan being a defeated foe, and the thankfulness we can have in Christ, let's make sure we have eyes to see the beauty and the goodness of God so we don't get pulled off into these other things. Because I think in today's world, too, people can miss the beauty and the goodness of God and get distracted by all these other things. So let's pray to have eyes to see. Heavenly Father, help us to have eyes to see, to see your beauty, to see your love, to see your grace, to see your forgiveness and mercy. Lord, help us to see that, to know that, and help us also to know that the devil is a defeated foe, that we have authority as followers of you, and that we can be thankful each day for what you've done for us and the salvation that we have. So, Father, bless us and encourage us with this. In Jesus' name, amen.